Hey guys, we're just continuing straight on from the previous video. So we're now up to solving for D unknown and Q unknown. So we're going to go do that now with the matrix we've developed. So just to quickly partition this if we wanted to. So if we were to come down this way and this way. So obviously this would be our K11 matrix. This would be our K12, K22, and this would be K21. This would be our D unknown, our D known. This would be our Q known, and this would be our Q unknown. Okay, so we saw that in the previous in the previous video. We just saw how to partition it. We did that before, and now I'm just showing you what it's going to look like. So we're now going to go and solve for D unknown. So we're essentially going to have Q known equals. So it's just expanding this matrix out, which is just a simplified version of this entire system. So solving this matrix would be K11 D unknown plus K12 D known. As we've said, that goes to zero, which means that goes to zero. So we're just left with that. So if we wanted to solve for D unknown, we would need to find um, K11 inverse Q known. Now we'll give it to us. So let's just write this. Let's just write this matrix out. So we would have Q known is 10, 0 equals EI outside of K11, which is this matrix here. So just 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 1.2. 1 .2. So I've just written out that matrix there outside of D1 and D2. Now, to solve this, we would um, find the inverse. So we're going to first of all have to divide through by EI. So we're going to have D1, D2 equals 1 on EI outside of 